it was funny because we were talking about how Kyle lost her voice, right? So we had fun with it throughout the whole show, and it was it was hard towards the end of the show to like really get to hear her talk. So she went to the doctor, and then she said a group text. Peyton, can you read her group text? <laughs> sure, let me pull yeah. it up. It, it might sound better in a girl's voice. Now Kyle's sitting right next to us. Okay. But, so I am talking as I'm Kyle. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. 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 All right. Doc said, try not to talk for five days, LOL, but also said he knows I can't really do that for work, dot, dot, dot. So, said if possible, limit talking as much as possible at work and outside of work, try to only text laughing emoji. That's going to be the challenge of my life, LOL, but gave me steroids and said that that should help. So, hopefully, it's back in no time, exclamation point, exclamation point. Okay, so you're sitting in here right now between us all. Should you say hi? Should you not say hi? Oh, Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, that is a lot worse. A lot worse. How does that happen? Oh no! Oh, sweet girl, that's so sad. <laughs> now you're really uh, not going to hear you when Rich talks over you. Oh, <laughs> Poor guy. It's like your laugh is so like quiet too. It's everything's gone. gone. Poor thing. Mm. Oh. Oh my God! Well, at least we could like look at you and you smile and see that you're reacting to stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh. Are you like whispering or is that just really what's this coming like out? Full volume. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is whisper. This is full volume. Oh my gosh! It, it doesn't hurt insane. though, right? No. It's like now it's starting to like. I think my throat's dry, and so then I like will cough. Okay. I can't even hear you. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> so I um yesterday. At one point, I was looking for Kyle, and I couldn't find her, so I called her. And this is at work. You know, she just disappears sometimes. Right, like, because she's working. Right. right. So <laughs> I call her, and she picks up the phone. We're talking. No, she, and then actually it was later, too. She had left, because I had something in my car for her. And talking to her on the phone, it was like she's in a hospital bed dying. Oh. That's how it sounded like. And I was like, and, and then I'm like, did it sound like that on the radio? So I went back and listened to the radio show, and it didn't sound as bad. It was bad, but it wasn't like... And I actually thought, I was like, wait till tomorrow, which is today, and maybe we could try a segment to hear what it sounded like. But now you can't even get any, any sound out of her voice. So it's like, we can't do that. Or should have taped it. Darn it. Because it sounded so... I was telling my wife, Blake, I go, man, Kyle on the phone sounded like you're literally... <laughs> like you're like, it was bad. Was, Scott was like helping me with stuff. And he's like... I'm helping you like you're dying. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now, like, now you can't carry anything. You can't. Right. <laughs> now, though, we can do all your little segments are almost like ASMR, just like not on purpose. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't even get that <laughs> level out of her. It's a, it, yeah, I hear th- some of those a videos sound bit. like the whisper, yeah. right? Totally. <laughs> and there's probably some people who are really enjoying that right now. <laughs> well, at any rate, let me tell you what happened yesterday. So I had this old, old, old car, and we were going to sell it. And this friend of mine has the car, and he wants to take it to an auction. It's a 1970 Oldsmobile. I've had it forever. 77 Oldsmobile or 75 Oldsmobile. I don't know. It's a convertible. It's really neat. And it's, just, it's humongous. So it doesn't fit in my garage anymore. So we're going to, like, my friend Randy has it. And he's like, I'll put it this auction, this really cool auction. I'm like, great. And he's got the title. But I happen to have this other paperwork that says it's that if you, you know, where it was bought and all the original everything. He's like, if you could find that, it makes the car more valuable. So we had to go into storage and look for all the stuff, and we found all these file cabinets that have all our taxes and stuff, because you're supposed to keep that seven years, but my wife's got year more than that. So she's like, I'm going to go through all this stuff and look for it. So she's been going through years and years and years of stuff trying to find this paperwork. So she's got, we got nine trash bags full of taxes and all this stuff. So she's like, we need to shred this. I'm like, all right. So I thought... The radio station has a shredder. Let me go shred it. She's like, no, it's parcel stuff. I don't want anyone. I'm like, I don't, no one's going to go through our shredder and look through our taxes from 2001. Isn't that the point of a shredder, though, so you can't see what's on there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but still, she's like, it's still, you know, I, and I right. kind of get it. So I'm like, <laughs> she's like, I found this company. She goes, that, that'll shred it for us. So yesterday after in the middle of the day, her and I go to this company. And I didn't know this kind of company existed. And it is way freaking cool. So I... We pull up at this place. I walk into the office, and the lady says, just drive around, and this guy will meet you there. I'll notify him. So we pull into this giant warehouse, back up, and the guy says to me, walks over to me, not the friendliest guy in the world, and he says, how many boxes you got? 
I said, oh, I go, we have trash bags. I go, and there's about eight or nine of them. And it's full of our taxes. He goes, I don't give an S what's in the bags. Right? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like all right, well, I've never done this before. So okay. I thought I had to tell you what's in the bag before you shred it. So yeah, you're not like, you know, like I, when I went to mail my son's shoes, UPS to Hawaii, they're like, what are you mailing? Shoes. Let me see the shoes. You know what I mean? I yeah. thought, Let me see what you're shredding. You're not shredding documents from the White House. You know what I mean? So, so, uh, the, so I helped the guy with the bags. And then my wife wants to see them get shredded. And this warehouse is really neat looking. So I'm like, I'm going to, I can't wait. To, I see a TikTok, you know, the beginning of the bags going in, into the cart. And then the guy putting in this thing and this thing getting shredded. And, and I just obviously see a body getting shredded and blood going everywhere. Oh. That's kind of what I see in my mind if it was a movie. <laughs> so the guy goes, yeah, I don't care. You can come see it. So my wife and I walk into this. It's this huge empty warehouse. And I grab my phone. And I start to film, and it's this really cool looking, like mouse trap. Remember the game Mouse Trap? Mm -hmm. It's like that. You they put the your trash in the thing, they flip it into this bin. The bin goes, uh, the, all the bags go in this one shredder. It moves up this conveyor belt, and then it just gets shredded, and it pulls in this thing. Then it comes out this giant square box, poof, and, and it was really a neat process. So I grab my phone and I start to film, and the guy goes, "Stop!" You can't film in here. You cannot film in here. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I stop and I go, how come? I go, this is, there's nobody in here. This, is, your stuff. this is my stuff. And he goes, it's been acquired. This stuff has now been acquired. It is our property. And I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, all right. So now I'm looking at this guy as he's doing his thing. And my wife says, uh, wow, I, that's so cool that you just dump it in that, that you don't have to put it in manually. And he goes, if I did, I wouldn't work here. Right. So now I'm like. This guy's got a problem. Right. This guy doesn't like us. This guy's whatever, right? And this is his power trip moment of the day for yeah. him. So I'm like, and I'm kind of bummed. But I did go back to my phone. And I look at my phone, and I do have the moment I was filmed. So I got, I got what I'm trying to tell you guys is I have everything I described for you. I have before he yelled at me to shut it down. So then I got to go. He I writes this little receipt. And he says, you got to go back into that one office I went into. And there's this nice lady. She goes, oh, hi. Did you like it? I go, I go it was really neat. I go, I wanted to film it and put it on my TikTok. And she goes, oh, why Why didn't you? See, I thought she was going to say, there's no way. There's we, no we way you put it on TikTok. Yeah. We acquired your paperwork and you cannot do it. And I go, she goes, why didn't you put it on TikTok? I go, the guy told me I couldn't film. She goes like, what? <laughs> I'm like, all right, now I clearly know this guy didn't like me right. for, whatever, for whatever reason. So long story short, I'm posting that video. Do it. I bet I'm that's posting. deeply satisfying. I hope he sees it. I hope it pops up on his For You page and it just gets him so mad. It's not the most exciting video. It's about four <laughs> seconds long, but you get an idea. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna post, I was going to post it on my stories. I'll post it on my TikTok. It's, it's literally, it's just a video of like what you see is like, the, I, I was trying to be like all Spielberg, right? To get the whole cinematic, and then na, 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 na. <laughs> that's what I was turning, and then you could see everything get shredded. But he's like, turn it off. So I will post it. So go to my TikTok, you'll see it, John J. Van S.